Hey guys, here's a video of the Movo BWS-1000. This is a really cool blimp if you've got another microphone similar to like the Sennheiser MKE-600 where you don't want to spend a ton of money but you do want good sound. Now unboxing this, what do you get? Here is what you get. Inside here you've got the blimp itself. One of the really cool designs about this Movo blimp is this handle. It locks into a variety of different places super easily. Unlike some of the other blimps out there that I've had, this one has a really nice feeling and kind of metal um, clamp here for tightening down the handle. Now it's also designed to be really lightweight. It's plastic, it has the foam, um, but it still looks actually really nice. I think this looks really professional. The all black just has a really nice look to it. Now, one of the coolest features about this Movo is the ability to actually reposition where the handle comes into the microphone um, blimp itself. When you loosen this up right here, it's a very simple little thumb knob there. You can do it with your hands, no tools. And now I can actually reposition where this handle is on the blimp. So I can have it exactly in the center. I can have it more towards the tail. I don't have to pick. A lot of the other blimps out there, I have to pick exactly where the handle is going to go before I assemble the whole thing. Now there's a variety of different ways you could use this, but generally speaking, you won't use it just like this. You're going to actually use it inside of a dead cat or a dead wombat. Now one of the cool things about their dead wombat or dead cat is how it works with the zipper. This zipper is designed where it zips from both directions. So no matter where you wrote, push this handle, if for instance if I put the handle way back here, I could zip it from the front and kind of tuck the cable in here and zip it from the back. If you're in a really windy environment, it may not seem like a lot how some of the other ones don't zip tight underneath here, but that can introduce wind noise and sound noise into your recording that you don't want. So it's really cool that they have this zipper both in front of the mic as well as on the back side of the blimp here. It really is simple to install and remove. This just seems like such a much better blimp than some of the other ones that are out there. And so that's why I'm using this one now instead of my other one that's more expensive that kind of blows my mind. The other thing here is that this has a locking screw right here on the base so that's easy to just screw into even even like a C stand and use this as your method as you know your shock mount for your microphone. Now it's tempting to maybe not bring a blimp because they're kind of cumbersome they typically have a big box they're kind of annoying to bring but this is different. This obviously in a blimp you can leave your microphone in it but this carrying case also then includes your dead wombat has everything in it that you need to go. So I highly recommend if you're looking for a budget blimp and a budget microphone, check out the Movo BWS-1000 as well as the Sennheiser MKE-600. They're a great combination for getting some great quality audio. I hope you found this video helpful. That's why I make them, simply to help people out. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.